Hello friends, today we are going to discuss some preclinical methods for the estimation of local anesthetics agents. Though there are several types of local anesthesia and local anesthetics methods are available, but we will going to discuss two methods which are very important in preclinical study. Before that, just look towards what is local anesthetics. So, local anesthetics are the drugs or the agents or the chemicals which when applied topically or injected locally produces a reversible loss of sensory perception especially of pain in the restricted area of the body. So as the term itself indicates it is a local anesthetic so you can apply it on the local surface to a restricted part of the body and it will produce the reversible loss of sensation to that restricted area. They block the generation and conduction of nerve impulses at any part of the neuron with which they come in contact without causing any structural damage. So, the sensation is because of the nerve impulses which are flowing throughout the body and this local anesthetics at that local place, they will block the generation and conduction of the nerve impulses. So, there is a loss of sensation to that local place. But one good thing is that this local anesthetic agent, they will not produce any type of structural damage. Now, there are several types of uh, local anesthetics. First is the ophthalmic anesthetics, which are applied on the surface of the eye for glaucoma or conjunctivitis for purpose. The drugs are lidocaine, bupirocaine, ethidocaine and prelocaine. Then some topical anesthetics are there which are applied on the structure, uh, surface of the skin like lignocaine, tetracaine and propyrocaine. And third is the regional anesthetics which are uh, injected to a particular region inside the body. The examples are lignocaine, bupirocaine and hexilocaine. So these are the different types of the uh, local anesthetic agents. Then the mechanism of action of local anesthetic agents as we have seen in the definition that it blocks the conduction uh, generation and conduction of nerve impulses. So as you know, this impulses transmission or impulses generation is totally based on the action potential and action potential is based on the movement of sodium and potassium across the membrane. So local anesthetic agent, they block the voltage gated sodium channel. As a result, there will not be the entry of sodium ions inside the cell. Therefore, no phase of depolarization occurs. And as a result, the action potential will not generate it. As action potential is not generated, there is a no conduction of the impulses towards the CNS and thereby they produces the local anesthetic effect. There are certain difference between local and general anesthetics. So as you so see, these are the simple, but some differences are very important like uh, mode of action uh, are the same. Then uh, here the patient is uh, conscious during local anesthetics, whereas in general anesthetics, it is unconscious. Then it is applied locally and it is whole body get uh, anesthetized. Here in local anesthetic, there is loss of sensation, but here in general anesthetic, there is a loss of consciousness. And as compared to general anesthetics, uh, application of local anesthetics are less toxic. There are different types of local anesthetics uh, agents and there are different methods, preclinical methods available for this local anesthetic agents. So for is the first is the conduction anesthesia. In this case, there are some methods like conduction anesthesia in the sciatic nerve of the frog. You can use frog or rat or the mouse tail. By using these three different animals, you can do the same experiment. Then rabbit tooth pulp assay is there, another method. Then retrobulbar blocks in dogs. The three important methods are there. Then in case of infiltration anesthesia, we have infiltration anesthesia in guinea pigs whales. Then surface anesthesia, this is a very important method like surface anesthesia on the cornea of rabbit and suppression of sneezing reflux in 
rabbit then epidural anesthesia uh, this can be studied in guinea pig and last is the intrathecal anesthesia or it is called as the spinal anesthesia so methods include spinal anesthesia in rats and blockage of urethral reflux in the rabbit so out of this we will going to discuss two important uh, preclinical anesthetic methods first is the surface anesthesia on the cornea of rabbit and another is the spinal anesthesia in the rat so first method that is surface anesthesia on the cornea of rat and it was <coughs> uh, first described by regener in 1923 now in this methods first we will take the albino rabbit and this rabbit is of either sex and weighing 2.5 to 3 kg and these rabbits are placed into the rabbit holding cages then the upper and the lower eye shelves are carefully clipped or they pull carefully and the conjunctival of one eye is held open so suppose you have considered the left and right eye you can use any eye as a left and any as a right or you can say the control eye or the standard eye or the treatment eye the, this will leads to the formation of a pocket just by taking a 1 ml syringe uh, having the 22 gauze needle 0.5 ml of the solution of the anesthetics are injected into the conjunctival sac and for 30 seconds and this process is repeated uh, to 1 ml inject that 1 ml injected in 1 minute so uh, once one in one eye you can use your uh, test drug by administration in this process care should be taken that 1 ml drug should be injected in 1 minute now the next eye which is there you can use this eye for the standard drug so in this case 0.1% of tetracaine hydrochloride uh, is used as a standard drug so both i are used one is used for your test drug and one is used for the standard drug then the effective local anesthetics they extinguish the coronary reflux that is the blinking reaction or coronary leaf, uh, refluxes they elicited by any touch of the cornea so you can observe this uh, uh, corneal refluxes by touching the ear bud or anything to the eye and this will give you the idea about the induction of anesthesia so in evaluation you can observe the time between the disappearance and reappearance of the corneal refluxes which is registered uh, here so this is a simple methods as we have seen in mitriasis meiosis activity also so corneal reflux is very important which shows the uh, induction of anesthesia in the animal sometime general anesthesia can also uh, in in the different stages of general anesthesia this is one of the factor which can be considered so this is a simple method one can use for the anesthesia another method is the spinal anesthesia in the rat again here you can take a rat that is male sprag devli rats which weight is 50 to 75 g uh, to be used the rat uh, is held firmly by the pelvic girdle then a uh, 30 a 30 gauze needle is attached to a 25 microliter hamington series is inserted into the tissue on one side of the l5 or l6 spinous process at the angle of about 20 degree so this hamilton syringe it is injected into the spinal cord uh, near to the l5 or l6 spinous uh, at the 20 degree celsius 
so the needle is advanced to the groove so needle is moved forward to the intravertebral space about 0.5 cm of needle in vertebrate column so uh, 0.5 uh, centimeter of the needle should be inserted into the vertebrate column uh, it has to be uh, take care then correct the placement of needle confirmed by arching of the tail so you have to confirm whether the needle is uh, at right position or not and that can be observed by arching of the tail of the rat once it is uh, clear that the needle is placed at proper uh, area then you can inject the drug in the volume of 5 microliter from this uh, hamilton syringe then you can observe the anti nociceptive or uh, pain killing or anti nociceptive activity by using some methods like the tail flick assay this tail flick assay how it is performed we have already uploaded a video related to tail flick method so once you have prepared the animal in this way you can go with the tail flick assay and uh, the evaluation is carried out as a degree of anti nociception is defined as percentage of maximum possible effect so this is what the method tail flick method you can uh, use a uh, hot water and in that you can dip the tail and observe the anti nociceptive effect so this is a simple again simple method for the uh, evaluation of spinal anesthesia in the rat so uh thank you one and all uh, i think uh, you can understand this uh, process and if you like this uh, video then you subscribe and share with your friends for more such video related to the preclinical pharmacology